The role of the teacher is very pivotal in the growth and development of students. Um, they're probably one of the most important and influential people in a pupil's life. They spend a lot of time with them each and every day, and they're really there to support, nurture, and challenge the students. Not necessarily to coddle them and give them the answers, but to get them to continue to push farther, to dream big, and to support their aspirations and desires for professional career growth. Often I would find myself to be the only female in the classroom, and sometimes the boardroom in various meetings. So just not necessarily having the same support and network group from other females present to turn to, I've had to be more creative in seeking out female mentors, female role models, um, in addition to learning how to communicate with all the different genders, ethnicities, uh, the way guys often have different styles of communications as well, and just trying to learn and adapt to those environments have been very eye-opening and, and challenging. I'm a big firm believer in the importance of industry coming into the classroom and to help promote and really get um, teachers and students excited about what we do because I can't expect teachers to know all the various facets of the space program or what, for example, my employer Lockheed Martin does at all our different business units. But what I can do is make sure I spend time enlightening them and sharing them all the different ways that the exciting projects we work on, whether spacecraft or aircraft or underwater, you know, autonomous vehicles can be applied and the kids can do all these exciting career opportunities. We have FIRST Robotics programs that bring robotics into some of the schools and communities and there's a whole variety of different, different clubs and organizations that kind of tie into that and it's just kind of how you spend your time and energy and, and volunteering and not only giving it back but really paying it forward. I try to do all the different things that I wish would have been around when, when I was that age. And a good example of a project you could perhaps do in the classroom does not have to be something very complex. I mean, how many of you have students who have ever perhaps made and folded something as simple as a paper airplane? Well, that could be turned into an innovative classroom project. I know I, for one, like to be hands-on as a student, and the days we got to touch and work on things were some of my favorites and some of the best lessons that stuck with me throughout my life and career. Have them choose from different types of paper so they can understand the importance of material selection. See if they have any tips or tricks and how they want to fold it, and you can see how the changing in the way you fold the paper will also generate what you're trying to accomplish. Is it to soar high? Is it to get the most distance? Is it to have the most air time? or perhaps to do acrobatics and tricks. Well, are there any other things that you can add to it? What if you perhaps put a paper clip towards the nose of it, change the weighting and the center of gravity? How would that make it fly? What can students do with something as simple as the tools you have easily readily available to you that you can then tie into, well, great, you saw how this works, well, why don't we look at some of the equations behind it and kind of lead in and segue to the maths and physics that support it. What would I like to see as an ideal classroom in 10 years from now? Well, I think I'd like to have some of the different tools that I've seen in uh, the European School Nets Future Classroom Laboratory. They have a lot of more hands-on type things that can take applied learning and really bring some of the stuff we do and work with in industry right there to get students touching and dealing with technology from an early age. Dream big and then have the courage to go turn those dreams into reality. As an engineer, as a scientist, that's what we do. We learn the critical thinking and the conceptual skills you need to turn anything you can dream into reality. And it's amazing to be able to take the stuff you put your hard work into and your time, which is your most precious commodity, and finding something that is worth your time, talents, and abilities that you truly believe in and are passionate about, and then turning that into your job and your career.